How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are going to be taking a look at which crop gives you the most straw. And I ran this test because I've got another video that I'm going to be coming out with here really soon to show the most profitable crop. And whenever I'm looking at that, I'm looking at all the different crops. I'm talking about hay, I'm talking about silage with grass and corn, I'm looking at all the individual crops. We've got a pretty good price list going on right now with yields and everything. So if you want to stay up to date on that video or any of my other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell too. All right, so let's jump into this video. What I've got back here in the back is we have wheat, barley, and oats. And we know those are the three crops right now in base game that are going to give you straw. And what I did is I put wheat down first, and then I came back with barley, and then oats. And we checked to see how much yield we were getting off the crop, just to make sure that it was in line with the 200% that we showed in an earlier video. And then once we knew that we had the 200% yield potential here on the field, we went ahead and measured how much straw there was. Like I said, I did that with wheat, barley, and oats. So let me go ahead and show you this data right here. As you can see in the first column, we have the crop yield. So for wheat, I got 2,846 liters. For barley, I had 3,071 liters. And oats, I had 1,824 liters. In the next column here, you can see that for the straw yield, for the wheat, I had 23,503, barley, 23,529, and oats, 23,550. Now, I'm not sure why there's a 47 liter difference between the three from the highest to the lowest. Maybe it has something to do with how tightly they're packed in here into the field. I don't know, but I don't see it as that big of a difference because you can see here that my field size is only 0.32 hectares. If you take this and you extrapolate it all the way up, you can see that my scaled crop yield is going to be 88.94 for wheat, 95.97 for barley, and 5,700 for oats. And what that means for my straw is that I had 73,447 liters of straw on wheat. We had 73,528 for barley and 73,594 for oats. So you can see that I'm only about 150 liters difference between the two. So what I'm going to do for all my future testing that we're going to show for yields and profitability and things like that, I'm going to give straw a yield of 73,600 liters. It does not matter what crop you have, you're going to get roughly the same amount. I mean... The 150 liters over one hectare, that is not that big of a deal. It's going to take 10 hectares to even make a liter. And with straw being such a low price, usually around $125 on uh, normal economics, I don't see that as a big win that you have to have straw from oats every single time you run this. Well, that's going to be it today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.